Hey, what's up guys? Eagles Guy TV here. And today I paid $5 for a lawnmower game next generation. Uh, and you see the background there? No, that's not poor picture quality. It really does look that bad. And anyways, let's start the new game. Nice sound effect there. My name is Billy and this is my lawnmower cult. We all wear the same clothes and have the same exact mustache. This game's a little unsettling to be honest. Uh, with the ambient music that's playing and the low polygon textures So here we go. Let's mow some grass. The gameplay is like 12 out of 10 There's not even an animation the grass just disappears. That's kind of nice But I know what you're here to see and it's not mowing grass. Let's take this thing for a nice little joyride First we're gonna go into this place wherever it is and try to get decapitated up oh, It didn't let me do it. I don't know what kind of urban hell this is, but I really don't like it This game is like honestly a little unsettling how is there grass on this thing this doesn't even make any sense and let's go through the fire nice so there's fire trucks and a tank for some reason there's a tank in the middle of this lawn mowing section and there's a crashed airplane that's nice let's go near it and see what happens okay i just clip through it you can just clip through the airplane. Okay. Well, actually, there are four different lawn mowers, but you have to drive a certain distance to get all the mowers. Look at my eyes. They're the unstare. <laughs> Jeez, it looks like I've seen some shit. My name is William the Unstaring, King of Lawnmower Land. Oh, look, there's weather. What a game. It has interactive environments by cutting the grass and weather and particle physics. This is like game of the year, guys. Here's the train tracks. You know, the, the, there's just a train in the middle of the town on train tracks and there's no train tracks that go anywhere else. Okay. I know that this game is like a lawnmower simulator, but this is kind of like a horror game. Like everything's just gray. They didn't even bother to color anything, any of the models. It literally looks like they threw in a bunch of things in Unreal Engine and just called it a day. Oh look, it's snow. Let's go to the mountains. Why is there so much fire around here? This is kind of weird. I found the sneak snow area, guys. Yes. Why are there crosses here? What the hell? Is this a cemetery or is this like a crucifixion site? Oh, it's a cemetery. Okay. But there's like... There's three crosses. I'm getting a little creeped out. Why am I just mowing grass in like the post-apocalypse? What kind of kind of world is this? Okay, at least I found the space area. Okay, now we're on the moon, I guess, or something. The physics seem a little different, or I don't know if that's just me. I honestly got this game, thought it would be like kind of boring, but this is a little, this is like surreal. Oh, I can't go up this. I'm just clipping through the walls right now. You can't call yourself a gamer unless you played a lawnmower simulator. In, you know, it's set on the moon in the post-apocalypse, you know, and you just mow lawns. This game's even better than I expected, guys. I like it. There's not even any physics to any of the objects. You just run into them. You can't, like, mess around with it, really. The world building is just amazing. And look at that skybox. It's, it's not a JPEG. Look at these lawn mowers. We must mow the lawns. We must mow them all. We must mow the lawns. I am the lawn mower. I'm going to see if I can find anything else that's kind of weird. My hands, look, the wheel just turns by itself. My hands don't even do anything. I'm controlling it with my mind. That's why I never stare. I'm figuring out this world. Go, 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 go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Stunt racer. Okay, I just clipped through the whole plane. Nice. Is this game of the year, guys? I'm not really sure. This game really says a lot about society, doesn't it? So I played for 12 minutes. There's not really anything to do besides mow grass and pick up gas tanks. Is this like a safe or something? What could be inside? Oh, we can just go in the back. 
Oh, yes, exactly what I expected in the building. A flag of Finland. Yes, very good. That was worth the... Uh, worth... Oh, my God. The fire effects really slow the game down. I like how there's just, like, a snowflake on the ground. That's a big-ass snowflake. It's been 14 minutes, and I haven't blinked once, and my hands have never moved, and I literally... I feel like I'm in a daze. I'm in a trance. Here we go. There we go. Nice. I found a ramp, everyone. Finally, some fun. Okay, I unlocked the orange mower, so maybe that's better. There we go. I've leveled up in the world. So the description of this game said that the grass just keeps growing back and you can never win, which is nice. Going around at the speed of sound. Got nowhere to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Going around. Oh. I haven't got stuck once yet, so that's a good sign. Okay. I just jinxed myself. I'm stuck. I, I can't. I can't get out of this. And that seems like a fitting way to end the game. This game is more of a fever dream than a lawn mowing simulator. So if you like having fever dreams, then definitely get this game. And if not, then um, yeah, I would I would not. And also, I'm not moving anywhere, and I've noticed that the distance traveled meter is going up. So I guess it goes by how fast the wheels move and not how much you actually move. But anyway, if you want to have a fever dream on your Nintendo Switch, then I would advise you to get this game. And I hope you guys have a good one. Be sure to check out my other videos and like and subscribe and all that YouTube crap. Uh, Eagles Guy TV here. See ya!